Hey, hey, happy Monday. Well, it's Monday for me. Um, we are down here, Rock Hard Farmington, picking out boulders for Project 19. I'm really excited. This has a really been a fun project. Cannot ask for kinder people to work for. She made us that beautiful pie the other day with coffee. Had a little tea meeting at the same time. It was just fabulous. But then Friday came and we dealt with rain. So, got rained out on Friday. And that's how it goes. But Monday is a new day and we are running two projects at once right now, which isn't something we like to do too often, but when the situation calls for it and we wanna make sure we're getting people's home ready for a party, we do what we have to do. So that's what we're up to right now. We're having some fun while we're building water features. We've got an awesome team, Brad and Aiden, they're gonna be at Project 19 accepting these boulders and then starting to move them around. I'll be heading there right away. And then we've got Mark and Justin working on project number 20, which is that waterfall with a uh, boulder wall. Got Boulder Dan up there taking his seat, getting ready to help us pick out our boulders. Mr. Boulder Dan, sunrise coming up. A silhouette of an awesome dude who helps us make really cool water features by picking up all, all these beautiful holes. With that being said, it's time to pick some boulders and get ready to head over to project 19 and see what it's like. And I really hope it's dry. It's a hard hillside without it being giant. All right, let's do it. able to have even another waterfall here so our our amount of streams won't be too much you know basically like when you're sitting down looking your eye is gonna be catching a waterfall here and here a little bit of stream and then I see some stream being here because then we can really take advantage of this pipe thing yeah and uh, bringing that stream to like a waterfall right here so when you're sitting down looking this way you've got a real big waterfall coming this way that's just all sorts of crashing different ways and good height change. You know, so we've got a bigger dramatic waterfall that you can see through there nicely, nice okay. and easily. And then from there, we got a lot of waterfalls. I mean, you can see our, our height change is, yeah. is great. So we got to do some really cool dramatic stuff. Well, it's been a fantastic day here on project number 19. Uh, Brad and I were just kicking butt doing some waterfall building and outcroppings and really getting the shape of this hillside anchored, uh, making it feel like it was here. Gonna have a lot of cool things happening. So you can see us moving rocks, getting them right in the right spot. Really excited for some of the things we got going on with this waterfall, really. I mean, we have, uh, we have some things where well, the things I'm most excited about are going to be like how we're changing up our waterfalls. So we're getting like a cool sheet that's going to be really impressive, that's going to dry in. And then you're going to see how the water's splitting around some island rocks in a couple different spots. I'm going to twist and turn that water still by doing some more rock work. And then we got some rock work to do and dirt work to do outside of the liner, of course. But things are coming together down here in a really cool way. This is gonna be just a sweet section with a lot of activity going on. I'm so excited to see that in action. Now we're gonna come turning around the corner. We've gotta do an overlap, so we'll kinda of show you our thought process on the overlap tomorrow. Um, really, it's all about making sure that you have plenty of overlap, so we plan a little waterfall there. We've got so much height change to play with. We're probably gonna do a, just a one foot waterfall there, but make it kind of a, a lot of little rocks happening. So it's like a rapid section where it's coming down through there. 
and then it'll come twist and, and come through here. Looks like we're gonna want a big rock somewhere where that green bucket is in there to help tell that story of why that water is pushing this way up where Brad is. Um, and then we're gonna get a lot of plant things going on that hillside. It's definitely a, a drop off over there, but um, once we get it planted, we get maybe a couple trees in there. Over time, that's gonna look really nice where these woods start growing in this way again. And that's gonna feel like it was always here. So this will be making a lot of sense as it's turning around. There are so many things that keep happening that I keep getting more and more excited about. Uh, we're making a nice little walkway to hug this, uh, the deck as you're walking through. We're making it interactive. We've got some really cool things going on. So I don't know what to tell you what's the coolest quite yet. Today, we really focused on moving in some more resources. So uh, Brad and Mark were moving in dirt all morning. I was over at Project 20. So if you have not, this is a good time to mention it. Hit that subscribe button, tune in weekly, turn on your notification bell, because we're always gonna bring you something brand new weekly. We're very lucky to have the team we have. We, we all very much enjoy working together. Uh, it's hard when we split up, but those guys were working all day on Project 20. We don't usually do two projects at once, but sometimes we need to to make sure we can uh, hit people's targets and their goals. We're always going to bring you something new of us building waterfalls and kind of showing you exactly what we do and how, how we make our decision. So I wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about overlapping because that is a little bit of a complicated thing and it's something you're going to want to plan for. Uh, something that I'm not always the best at planning for when I'm doing our estimates. I get so excited about what we're doing that I sometimes forget that we're going to be doing overlapping and we need to plan for that overlap. Because what we found out today, we did a three foot overlap coming onto the waterfall liner. We've got 40 feet of liner going back up that way. But what happens when we do that three foot overlap, again, you know, it's even even maybe a little bit more than three feet. One, two, three, four when you go up and then we got another foot going underneath of the other liner. So we've lost about five feet of liner by doing our overlapping. So you want to plan for that because that's five feet of liner that would have gone up the hill. But we need to also have a plan on how to move this liner back and forth because a big part of what we do is backfilling and moving the liner, changing the soil as you've seen us do. So that's a big part of what we're deciding, how to decide on those things. But we've got our overlap now. So you can see this is a different liner than the one underneath. It always goes over to the top. Oh just like the water. So when the water's coming down, it's gonna travel over the top, right on this next piece of liner into our basin. Think like the water, water can't back up too much further than a couple of inches. We're gonna have this pooling up here. So we wanna make sure that our liner that I'm standing on, which is the first original liner, goes up a good ways, which it does. So we've got that a nice foot tall or not more than that up above our water line. So nothing to worry about there. Overlap's looking good. We're gonna have some really cool waterfalls happening and we'll get to that later. That's gonna do it for the end of the day. Awesome. We are on project number 19. Uh, things are going pretty good, except for, you know, last night we hit that cable line, which is how it goes when they don't mark it properly. Ah, so we had that going for us. So you always wonder why we might call A11, go for state call. Uh, it is the law, but it's also really a, a good thing to do because if you do hit an unmarked line like we happened to yesterday, 
uh, they're going to come out and take care of it pretty quickly. So uh, with that being said, it does put a little halt to what we can do to continue our progress. Uh, it does. It might potentially change the order in which we do the waterfall here, depending on where they end up fixing and repairing that line. Uh, but they're supposed to be here between 1 and 5 today. The cool thing on a big project like this is we are we, we have plenty of things to do. So with that, uh, we got Justin and Mark working on plumbing. We have three 5 and 9,000 gallon an hour pumps. So we don't use the 3 inch check valve, we use the 2 inch check valve and then quickly convert to the 3 inch. The idea is that 2 inch line will be restriction, uh, will cause restriction uh, over a long period because water builds up friction as it goes through the pipe. So. I don't think it's going to really affect our flow rate and in fact we've noticed it doesn't affect our flow rate when we do what these guys are doing right now. I love it. I got here and the guys had, had, had to improvise on what to do to keep things going and they decided to dig this out after kind of having a small little text message about what I was thinking here. They did a great job. Justin and Mark are doing this. While that's happening we got Aiden working on doing our edge work, doing our dirt work and making this look pretty, getting ready for mulch while we're getting ourselves built up on this long waterfall. And then there's Brad. He's always doing something cool to help us move forward, right? He was foaming in the uh, rapid section. This is gonna be just something I am really excited to look forward to. And as we were talking about the rapid section, we started talking about lights. And uh, when you do a rapid section like this, make sure you have a plan on where you want your lighting to be. So we're gonna be able to light up on this whole rapid section from down below then we're going to be able to light up this side from here. So we'll have a couple lights coming at the different sides of this rapid section from this point. But at the halfway point, we're going to rub some tubing up out and we're going to squeeze in a couple of lights in here too. So I'd like to get probably another set of three, a one watt over here, a one watt over there, and then bring one up into that level over there and get another little one watt. So when you're looking at this, we've got some odd lighting lighting this up. And then we'll be lighting up that stream that goes to the next waterfall. You can see where we hit that cable yesterday. Uh, we're going to start staging boulders. I got more boulders in the trailer, got more gravel, and now uh, we're just going to do what we can to keep moving forward while we wait for that to get repaired. But man, it is going to be so fantastic. Huge project. Huge project. of the day here great day the guys got all the pumps and the basin plumbed in hooked up check valves together we got lights in a good spot mediacom came and fixed our internet so we were able to start working on the rest of that got all the boulders off the street uh so tomorrow we're gonna hit the waterfall keep on rolling All right, so I'm usually like the resident dad here on site, and they just had a boulder slip out of the straps, and uh, everybody's okay, and we stay out of the way, and we're safe, but we'll see if we can get Nick's uh, guilty-looking face like, like dad just got here. One sec. How's it going over here? Oh, did you hear the explicit? Oh, no, that... You kind of got that pushing the liner down there. Hi, I'm Nick the Bot For the totally smooth. You're playing poker with Nick, and he starts talking a lot really fast. He probably doesn't have a good hand. <laughs> Brad was paying attention. I said, hey, this looks a little scary. He stepped out of the hole. Aiden was up on top. And uh, as soon as I lifted the blade on the machine, the boulder touched the dirt and it just shifted enough that the strap fell off and that boulder rolled down the hill. So again, that's a 3,000 pound boulder. If Brad would have been down there, we would have not had a good day at all. But it's liner, liner could get fixed. 
and we can restrap it. People can't get replaced, so something to keep in mind. Always stay out of the way. That Always would be, be out of the way. Never even close. Oh, I sleep are going great. <laughs> hey, I told you. Got Brandon. We just made it down this steep hill here. Morris gonna make his way up here so he can dig the plumbing all the way up there. Have all the diffusers right up there. We have three of them. All right. So Nick's been having a heck of a time backing this thing. It's a new truck, you know, but he's been having a hard time backing it down at night. He can pull in fine, but this drive would kind of twist and turns. And I told him, like, you know. You should be able to get it in one try. You know, I was giving him a hard time, so I'm gonna see if I can get it just in one try, and then we'll have it on camera so we can show him later. It's got a little bit of a corner you gotta take here, and tires get kind of stuck up over there, but we'll see. Justin will give it a shot. And here we go. I'll be trying to record this and make sure we don't hit the new truck. We don't wanna scrape it up yet. Good on this side. You just want to come in tight like this. You're good. Yep. Got it. Oh man, you see that mark? First try. First, first try. <laughs>